I think she wants me to unbox the Grand Furs Brooks. She's begging me to do it. Everybody wants to see this axe, so I gotta go now. Sorry. There it is. Big old smiley face from Amazon. Now, when I'm ordering or want to order this axe, uh, I've noticed that a few websites they do have it for about $125. That's a great deal for this axe. And I paid nearly double that. Uh, reasons being is the supply and demand they're back ordered for these uh, these axes at least this model for the forest axe and uh, with that you know I didn't want to wait up to eight months to get in line to pay up front and then just get the axe in so I decided to just front the extra money and get it shipped in two days and so now I have it here so I finally completed my bushcraft kit uh, as far as the cutting tools go, so let's go ahead and uh, break into this box here. So, this is pretty cool. Of course, I'm bringing out my uh, Mark Neef Fire Knife Collaboration Light My Fire. I haven't done a review on my Moras yet, but uh, I'll get around to them, I promise. I know I have to do my other knives as well. It's just lately I've been getting a lot of new things in. And with that being said, let's get to cutting it. Guys, so I actually had to stop the video for a second, but uh, we did get it unboxed here. Now, got my excited face on here. This is it. Guarantee, Grands First Brooks, Sweden, the axe book. This is the 420 Grands First Small Forest Axe. Okay, so here's the axe book that it comes with. So I'm gonna put the knife down. As you can see, it's got different pictures here. I'll start at the beginning here. So it's got the blacksmiths here. I'm trying to look at it through the viewfinder, and I haven't really looked at this too much. So, and then it's got a. Oops, that was a good picture here. Instructions on deliming and you know techniques, tips, and things like that. So I'll read through this later. But let's get to the actual axe itself. So here is. Grants First Brooks Small Forest Axe. I'll provide the specs for the, the lengths and what it's made of and the handle um, in the description box below because uh, obviously I don't have that information with me right now as you can see. Okay, there's the mark of the maker there. Uh, let's see if the initials are AS. That's coming out. Comfortable one-handed axe, I would say. Definitely gonna want to protect the uh, handle on this. I'll find some paracord wrap or something for it. Maybe even a leather. I don't know if they call them skirts, but I'll probably treat it with some boiled linseed oil. Need to pick some of that up. Looking at the grain structure, straight along. Excellent. Okay, let's uh, check this out. Now, I've heard rumors that these are very, very sharp. So I will be very careful taking this out. 
Oh yeah, very sharp indeed. So the sheet that it comes with is this right here with a single buckle, or a snap I mean. Nice sheath. And here is the axe head. I mean it's kind of hard to tell. Let's see if we can clean this off real fast. Hand forged. You can see the, the hammer marks. So it's got that rustic look to it. I really like that. It gives it a very classic look. Almost weathered looking. Beautiful axe. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a uh, very very happy I finally own one. This is just I'm admiring it you know. This is a well sought after bushcrafting hatchet or axe. Well it's in between. It's a small axe. This is going to be perfect for my backpack. See the back here. You can see the texturing. Very, very nice. The wedge up in the front here. And I forget what these are called to hold them in, but you can see the wedge that was put in. Split it here. And then whatever this is called to hold it in. I don't know if that's like a staple or a, another metal wedge. Anyways, you can tell the shape's really nice. So I'd like to do another review in the daylight. That's where my camera really shines because it's really bad with indoor lighting. But uh, I think I'm going to play around with this for a little bit. Definitely interested on trying um, some feather sticks. I'd like to see how it splits. You know it's going to chop. I mean, I'm just feeling the weight and the handle, and this is, it'll carry forward. This is really nice for fine motor task, I would think. This will be fine. So I finally own a uh, Grand Spurs Brooks, and the Forest Axe, for that matter. And I got the LT Wright, GNS, and a collection of Mora, Mora Knives. I think this will be good. Okay guys, well I'll uh, wrap up this video tonight. I'm going to go ahead and put this away. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome axe. Very, very high quality. I mean, I'm just feeling it, looking at it, holding it. This is impressive. So it lives up to the hype now that I have it in my hands. So uh, I'll go ahead and put the sheath on very carefully, try not to cut myself or the sheath. I think it goes in like so. Yes, very carefully. It is very, very sharp. So, Grand Spurs Brooks, small forest axe. This is Chris with Black Rifle Survival. I appreciate you guys stopping in tonight and watching this small review and unboxing on this axe. Um, I'll be doing an infield test uh, coming up in a few days out on a camping trip for, I'm doing a three day camp out with uh, John from the Wingman 115 channel and a few other YouTube channels. At least another one that I know of for Prepare One. So, I'll be testing this out if I can have that opportunity. And uh, we'll do a, the testing out there. So, stick around for that guys and appreciate you guys for watching. So, if you like the content, go ahead and thumbs up this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I will look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care guys.